Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fableheim and the Revenge of the Undying, Neratus, Lord of the Dead. We resume where we left things off last time in the second floor. We've walked in, and I feel like there are a few things I would have done differently if I had the chance. First of all, the bride. This needs to go. It needs to go. I don't know when exactly. Soon-ish? And what we probably should have put here, by we of course, I mean me, was the mana battery thing. That is currently resting on our Zambi, who deserves a name, but hasn't gotten one yet. And he is replenishing his life force in the mortuary. He's, he's almost there. I did go ahead and distill something. <gasps> Spoiler. She's hiding there. Don't worry. She's training to be useful. But we have our next battle before us. A dwarven berserker. A dwarven warrior. A dwarven... Alchemists, and then a treasurer. This is going to be an annoying fight, but the Black Widow is here to help us out. Speaking of annoying, let's make it more annoying, shall we? I feel like this might be helpful. Ah, fetching. We're not really doing anything else. This one can go. I want that for shenanigans. This one can go. Oh, more experience. This could be useful. Mm. It's basically a weaker version of Skullfall. You know, we have other uses for our mana. Give me experience. This is useful. This is useful. This is not. This is probably not. I'm so close. Would I sacrifice this for a level? No. I'm going to use the gambling ship because I'm fairly confident in our ability to crush this. To break their souls. Because nothing here is really scary except for the Berserker. So all I have to do is, you know grip him, and move on with our lives, really. Now, I do have another regret. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I don't think that does anything, really. Oh, look, my blocks. Eh, that's not that bad. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and... Hey, look, it hit him. Lol, the warrior's gonna get absolutely destroyed. I'm just going to go ahead and spike a cocoon right now. We're going to go ahead and think of Erantis. I should probably upgrade this. You are approaching rank 9, aren't you, dear? This one will do it. Rage released. But I did want to say a few things. Ooh. He had 11 resistance, and that was still 63. Did I pick up Purging Blizzard like a smart lad, or did I not? I sure did. Man, I'm the best. No. <laughs> um, first of all, thank you all for your tremendous support of the second series. I was kind of afraid of, uh, you know, the first series. It kind of ended prematurely. And then I asked everyone if they wanted to see more, which the answer was overwhelmingly unanimously, yes, please, which made me happy, of course. But... Um, I was a little worried that interest would slowly fall off of the second series, but you are all following it with keen interest, so I will hope to not disappoint. And on the note of not disappointing, I promised, well, in the comments, so is it really a promise if it's in a comment and not in the video? Yes, of course it is. <laughs> that I would try to provide varied versions of Onslaught. And so far, we've kind of seen a lot of the same, right? But that's... Might be changing very soon. You may have noticed a lady of the night awaiting us in the arena. That's mostly because I just felt really bad about not using the arena. But I have some ideas. Some some things are ticking up here in my brain. Because this floor, I mentioned last time. Probably could have done something different here, but I just wanted to kill that thing. This floor is not friendly for stress builds. And the reason is because... The Berserkers make it really challenging. But this floor, they really like it when you can just kill everything. So, you know. There are more than one ways to skin a cat. I still have no idea where that saying came from. But the point is that I can kill things in a variety of ways. And magic is only one of those ways. You didn't die from that? Really? Hmm. I redirected. Wow. I also regret this. I mentioned it a lot last time, so I'm not going to say it as many times this time. 
I promise. <laughs> I do regret picking up the spiky cocoon, but it was for science. And nothing ever done for science was really done in vain. Or something like that. Oof, that hits hard. We're all so wounded. Uh, no. No touch, my bride. My bride, no touch. I prefer you not touch my Kel'Thuzad either, especially that way, because that was a very root. That was very root. All right, well, I'm just going to kill something, I guess. Maybe I'll heal for a turn, because Kel'Thuzad's going to kill something. This is my kind of entertainment. And then you're going to kill something. Wow, we took a lot more damage than I thought we would. But we were using the gambling chip. Wow. Wow. Well, okay. Let's um <clears throat> straighten ourselves up here real quick. Because we just got some combo pieces. Now we did give the bride already the serpent of the serpent skull. I almost said serpent of skull for some reason. The serpent skull. This, every single turn, she will gain plus three luck, which increases her critical strike chance, and she'll gain additional crit damage. The Bride of Aratus is very good at critting things. Her ultimate ability only proves that, but now she's going to deal even more crit damage, which is going to incentivize us to not, or excuse me, to stop hoarding points for attack and to start dumping them in to luck. Unfortunately, she's only gaining two here. Which is a lot less than I thought she would gain. Well. We probably want to put some points here anyway. Like, I think hoarding attack has come to an end now, and we need to focus on other things, as us taking this much damage has kind of begun to prove. I'm a little disappointed that armor and res is only going up by one here. I feel like this is going to be a waste of a point if I do it this way. This is so long. I want to get rid of this, huh? Because there's a lot of armor here. I expect results. Mm. Initiative would let me get into my cocoon sooner. Mm. Eh. Attack would increase the reflection of my cocoon, which I regret picking, but is here anyway. I did also create these steel spikes to reduce our physical income, incoming damage by 10%. It's not a lot, but you know, maybe it'll save us. <laughs> maybe it won't. Who knows? I certainly don't. I almost feel like it's a waste putting a point here, but I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> I think I when I was um, newer, I had a lot of faith in the formula. No, I had a lot of faith in armor and resistance because I love mitigation. I always have. If you can just mitigate damage, that's good to me. But I think in Erantis, Vigor is just straight up better. Because armor and resistance can always be removed. And there are many, many ways to remove it. Or reduce it. In which case, you just dumped points into something that's not helping you anymore. And that feels really bad. I'm going to put one point in Vigor for the Unfrozen. Because then we'll get two and then we can upgrade his attack again. <laughs> We're kind of ignoring his initiative, which is kind of his whole shtick. But they nerfed it. It's their fault. All right, Zambi Ten. Unfortunately, this leaves the Unfrozen in the final slots. This is peculiar. Peculiar indeed. There is someone that I would like to resurrect. Ooh, increases critical damage dealt. This is a bizarre item. I've never seen this before. Reduces critical damage received. Who would this even be good on? Like a, fr a frontlining character? Skeleton? That's probably really good. Toss it with the rest. Like, I think the ideal items for a cocoon based Black Widow would be the armored plates, reduce all damage by 10%, and the leg cuffs so that she can't be moved out of her stance. I'm not giving it to our current Black Widow, you may notice. <laughs> and that's because. Well, we picked up Spiky Cocoon, which I said I wasn't going to complain about that much. A Dwarven Warrior, Dwarven Berserker, Dwarven Treasurer, Dwarven Alchemist. This looks really familiar. I feel like I've seen this before, Aratus. 
What about you? How are you feeling about this, Eratus? Do I build the excavation again, then? This is 100? Ooh. And eh, we'll hold out for the obelisk. Rank 3 obelisk means we can build more things. Build more things. Get more things. Ooh. Do you see I spy with my little eye? A treasurer. <laughs> Leave my bride alone. One thing I was thinking about in between, you know, the five minutes in between recording these two episodes was um, my bride's getting hit a lot. And I'm not a fan of that. Really? What are these debuffs? How did this happen? Oh, is it because he used his ability and spent it? I think that's what it was. And I was thinking how to try and prevent that. And the only thing I really could come up with was... What am I doing here? Increases damage dealt by... Nope. <laughs> um, the only thing I really could come up with was like maybe bringing a bone golem. Like, trying to fit a Bone Golem into this somehow. Because the Bone Golem, of course, can apply block and ward. I mean, the Lost Soul could as well, but I don't really see her having a... a significant role in this in any way. Ha. So, I don't know. I just... just don't want my... my dear bride to be hurt. Speaking of my bride being hurt... I don't know. We're not gonna Emma. We're not gonna Emma. I wonder how much... Mana I would recover if I use Bombardment. Good redirect. Hmm. Or this. But that would make me lose my mechanical aim. That's a lot of damage. Alright, give me my mana back, please. Boom! Blow them to pieces! That uh, wasn't bad. We went from 59 to 80. That's not bad. I think that's respectable. Unfortunately, I don't like what's happening here. Can this kill? 41 plus 24? No. Hmm. Then do I care? What if I put him in the fourth slot? What if I laugh at him? Ooh, I hope there will still be enough left. To I think my priorities aren't in the right place for this. But hey, it worked out. <laughs> I have lost so many characters to the Berserkers, and I'm just like, what if I just laugh at him? My, how far we've come. I'm back to full health, though. I mean, maybe the spiky cocoon's okay. Maybe it's just okay. Maybe it's not. Who is evasion? No one, but you have luck. Meh. I'll go to the cocoon again, why not? I kind of think this Berserker is just gonna die. Probably should have... Oh, I couldn't pull him. That's why I didn't do it. To her, to her. I don't really feel threatened. Wow. <laughs> oh. think it would be this easy. That was a lot of Demahe. That was a significant amount of Demahe. Speaking of a significant amount of Demahe. No. Ten mana. We're getting it. Can I kill you? Probably. That's fine with me. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Well, I would say that I'm pretty proud of where we're at right now. I think we're in a good spot. And now that I've said that, watch something terrible happen. I am really curious to see if I would be able to get, like, the spider venom to really crank up to just, like, unfathomable levels. Because there are some characters in this game that have a significant amount of health. Amongst them, my arch nemesis has a lot of health. You're dead, aren't you? I think they're just dead. One more for the stockpile. Yep, they are. Hey, the bride healed. Nice. Mission achieved. 
Um, he has a significant amount of health. I believe on Good Always Wins, he has 850 health. And if I check the math, 1% of 850 health is 8.5. Hmm. I don't actually know if Spider Venom is treated as a true debuff, though, and can be, like, purged by his freaking pylons. Deep breath. It's okay. We have time. We'll figure it out together. <gasps> I've mentioned this item a few times. This is the Glutton's Tongue. Looks like it got nerfed since I last saw it. But at the start of battle, increase damage dealt by 0.1% for each available part in the chamber of all for my Eratus. future kingdom. Now, for this to be where is it? It's over here. For this to be just as good as like the misery cord that's plus 10% or er, plus 10% physical damage or the dark heart which is plus 10% magic damage, we would need 100 parts. But if you take a look at the top here, it's not like we're far off. Like, quick mathing this, this is probably close to 50 parts. And we have a few characters that do both physical and magical damage. One is this, but I'm really enjoying this. I'm like, I'm feeling like leaning into this luck really hard. Like, just leaning into it. And if we wanted to do that, if I was feeling that frisky, here it is. The luck potion. Do I have something to sacrifice to the dark gods? No. Darn. I'm sorry, Gods of Chaos. You have to wait a few turns. I like this. I like this group a lot. Even though I feel like there are a few vulnerabilities that we're looking at here. Do you see what I see? No? Hmm. Me neither. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. <sighs> okay, maybe maybe it won't be fine. Would you please leave him alone? Please. I don't ask very many things. Actually, I'm a I ask quite a lot of you. Huh. What's this? Oh. This could be free soon. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure I have to cocoon. Like, I want to... Let's see. If I fatal bondage the treasurer and then... Nope. I was thinking maybe I could survive by trench loading, but I don't think I will. I don't think I could. Who's getting a muck this turn? Probably the Zambi. Probably a zombie. Rage release. I think... I mean, if I trench load, I kind of just wasted that. But, I mean... I really feel like I need to start burning these two down. I'm feeling very threatened. And for the most part... Yeah, they're going to be redirected by... The Black Widow. And I'm going to keep doing that, because I'm scared. <laughs> That was that e wasn't even with the damage buff that they had last time. Yes, infect yourself with my venom. Uh oh. Lose all initiative and evasion. The musketeers' attacks deal more damage. Mark your spells when the target moves. This is just the marks the musketeers' damage. My dear. I have a request of you. It's to hit very, very, very hard. Please? The carve open their husks. And thank you. I feel rather satisfied by my request. Hmm. The worst of the three. I have to shoot him or he's not gonna die. I have to shoot him. There's a rule of thumb, my friends, and that is to take your kills where you can get them. 
as worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. Will he though? Ooh, that is a substantial amount more. I was kind of curious what it meant when it says deal more damage. But it wasn't kidding. It meant deal more damage. Well, he's dead. I... He's very dead. No. If you had the unfrozen here, we can go ahead and put him in a, an ice cube. Oof. Kel'Thuzad. Kel'Thuzad. Ow. I don't want to do this. Meh. Can't really think of a way. My will is a tide that will wash away your pathetic civilizations. Oh, this is interesting. At the start of its turn, the minion restores six vigor for each unfilled squad slot. Oh. Huh. That is fascinating. You may have you may be familiar. You can also go back and look at the video if you're not. But um, I have a build that I really enjoy called the Yolo Solo Fallen Dampier build. And this doesn't just apply to the Fallen Dampier. It's enabled by an item called the Boiling Blood, which gives you a truckload of stats uh, for each empty slot. So if you just bring one character with the Boiling Blood, they have so many stats that very few things can kill them. I mean, you know, things, they can die to like stuns kind of and... Uh, like the alchemist that removes their armor and whatnot. But other than that, it only costs one point to off my luck. What? Huh. That's probably something we should have invested in. Should continue to invest in. Um. But anyway. They get so many stats by being alone. This would make it so that they would re recover 18 vigor every single turn. Could that enable even more YOLO solo shenanigans? I almost said another word for that. <laughs> I wonder. Well, is it time? I think we go for Heart Piercer first. Serve me well, my minion. I mean, you probably could have gone for this. Heart Piercer, we don't use it very often. But you know what? It's fine. The option was there. I took it. I really want more luck. More evasion is also probably going to be helpful for the bride because she's... She's taken some hits. I don't want her to. It hurts my soul a little bit every time she gets hurt. You know? I just feel it. 89. It's kind of like 69. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny, but it was. Hello? Come back. Goodbye, Zambi. I'll miss you. You can do everything here, right? You can't put people in ice cubes here. Is that fine? That should be fine. Although, this slot's kind of wasted on you being here. How does the Bride do in the second slot? No Chest Piercer. No Overwatch. No Think of Him. So very bad. The only thing she can do is Flames of Love. I mean, is that fine? What are we fighting? That's probably going to determine if that's okay. Oh yeah, that's fine. So the reason why I want her here is because the Black Widow can cocoon and protect the Bride, which has been a... A major complaint of mine. Time for the obelisk. Come here, mummy. 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 I still they want to build one of these. Carry the curse of my tomb to the world. And by build one of them, I mean, oh, I could have done it last battle. I'm such a bad person. Excavation here. That's probably next, I think. Maybe. I feel like. I feel like that's not procking enough for me. I don't know. I don't know. We have one point. What are we holding out for again? We want alchemy stuff. Get that. So now we go for this. I want the luck. Transformation. The will becomes free. And then I think we want to go here. I think we rushed it towards dispel. I mean, we presently have that one thing that's kind of helping us out here. But Dispel is like a global... It removes debuffs too, so it can be very helpful. Lol. You missed. 
All right, we're going to be sitting in this cocoon probably the entire fight if I were to take a wild guess. Also, I'm going to be shooting this guy a lot, so... No expectations or anything, please. Yes, protect my beloved bride. Nope. No, 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 None of that, please. Wow, they're really going after the bride, aren't they? Please stay in your cocoon. Don't come out. It's a scary world. Please get shot. Unfortunately, we aren't collecting our serpent skull here. So we are uh, actually substantially weaker in the second slot. But, you know, I'm trying not to use any mana because I can't recover it, really. Well, that's a nope, too. That's a nope for me, dog. But he has two of these, right? Yeah. He's probably just dead. This is 41 to 46. Oh, he's probably alive. Like, barely. Like, frustratingly barely alive. I said I wasn't going to use much magic, but let's uh, amok this. Shall we? Well, the Berserk is dead into... Oh, no. part of okay. the tide. Never mind. He's dead. D-E-D -E -D dead. Now I get to heal up. So nice when I'm not under constant threat. There is actually a build. I don't remember what it is exactly. I'm trying to remember. It's like Bone Golem in the front. Is it Bone Golem... Black Widow Head Hunter? Wait, what are you doing up there? I don't like it when you're up there. You should know that. Can I kill him? No, probably not. My damage isn't ridiculous. It's okay. about me not using any mana. <laughs> These are very cheap, though. He killed himself by hitting the cocoon. Okay. The bride was protected, and she still took, like, 40% of her health and damage. The gore. I'd hate to see plants using it as fertilizer. Feels bad. Feels freaking bad, man. I'm trying to decide who would even use the glutton. Actually, I have an idea. I have an idea who could use the glutton's tongue. Blood potion. Keep your mind on the target. My dear bride, I must ask you to go rest for a little bit. Oh, I just had a thought. I just had a thought. This with the bride. I mean, is guaranteeing her Q really that important? I mean, if we have a lot of spell power, though, we could make it, like, basically free. And she just chunks people for ungodly damage for no reason. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Okay, as I mentioned, we're going to do the swiggy swaggy. The zwiggy zaggity. Ziggity zaggity. Whip wop. Plop. Let's go to this quest. Bah. You march leaves your enemies in disarray. Steadily, you can see them retreating before your might. In this particular instance, you encounter a large number of dwarves right in the middle of their evacuation process. A perfect opportunity to gain a few more miniature limbs. However, these dwarves are not carrying supplies or weapons. They are carrying chests, and you notice the spark of treasure underneath the lids. As the dwarves see you approach, they quickly board the carriages and prepare to flee. Risky, but higher chance you'll catch them. Pursue them without caution. Amazing what they just leave lying around. The dwarves are never particularly fast on their feet, and even on carriages powered by steam, their passages were far too narrow for them to get any decent speed. Your shambling corpses, as it turns out, are far faster, especially when spurred on by the will of the necromancer. Your minions drive them into a corner and dispatch the entire group. Now, their treasures are yours. I wouldn't exactly call these treasures. Guess I'll take the hatchet, though. <laughs> so, uh, that was one of the quests that have a unique creation selection. 
where like if you bring the right creation, you can do a unique thing. There's no way to tell that I'm aware of if that's going to be the case. So you kind of just have to get lucky, honestly. I guess the I guess the excavation. If we want to work on a glutton's tongue build, we need to start building that up now. They will be expecting cannon fodder, but I will give them cannons instead. That was a good pun, Eratus. I'm proud of you. Let's see. 15 accuracy and 15% damage until the battle ends, but the effect is removed and the minion takes damage. Which I feel like just happens. I'm putting this on. I hate the glass tiger. Oh, I hate it so much. <laughs> All of that can become my experience. Now I'll put this on I for now. Make mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. I hate to break it to you, Radis, but you're probably not going to make anyone tremble before you by wearing Vagrant's rags. Just a thought. Great, we're halfway through to our luck potion. We can do it. Believe in ourselves. Hold down. The fort. Kel'Thuzad. Actually, I'm curious, Kel'Thuzad. I have a question. Man, you're a good character. The only thing you can't do in the second slot is your Reign of Fire, which I've been too afraid to press. I have been so much of a coward that I can't press that button. Honestly, it's probably for the better. <laughs> I feel like... Ow. If I pressed that by now, someone somewhere would be dead. Speaking of being dead, there are two characters here that I really don't like. One of them is this marksman, Musketeer. The other one is this thing, the Oracle. Me no like you. I don't like that either. Um, I'm afraid of for Kel'Thuzad's life, released. but you know what they say. If you kill a lich, Oh, no, 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 no. That's not how we play this game. No. No plus 50% damage for you. Oh, you're going to mark my widow. I see. I see. Fine. You going to mark me? Hit me. I dare you. That was an 89 hit. Ow. Okay, I take it back. If I had the skull thing... I don't like what you're doing right now. I would greatly appreciate it if you could stop. Ignore his armor, but not ward. This will be your end. Ahem. <clears throat> Goodbye. Anyway, going back to what I was uh, surprised about before. 85 damage. Even with the Burning Skull. If we had the Shrapnel upgrade. What even is 65% of 85? It's still like 30 damage. I'm going to pull up a calculator, because I'm really curious now. 69. Nice. Okay, 85 times 0.65. 55.25. So it's like 29 damage. That's a lot of damage still. It's nowhere near 85. It makes me wonder... I should stop thinking about this and start thinking about how to kill stuff. But it makes me wonder. Boom. If I should... If I should just try and look for more wards. Like, I'm beginning to understand why um, people decided to run, like... Run weird stuff like triple bone golem. <laughs> And um, the liches. Or triple mongol and one lich for Armageddon. 
Because I don't see how you could survive otherwise, really. Oh, you know, if this keeps up, mm. I'll be done purging Heart. the world ahead of schedule. All right, Kel'Thuzad. You know that you're my favorite. You know that you've served me well. I expect results. But I need to send you to the mortuary for a little bit. I need you to heal up, bud. You're not allowed to die. Unfortunately, I don't really like the bride in the final slot. Guess it's going to be the unfrozen, then. That's fine. What? Are we 16 points away from leveling up? Is that what that's telling me? Are you telling me? Okay, hold on. Elite warrior, elite berserker, elite geomancer, elite musketeer. Why does this group sound like a headache and a half? Probably because it is. I think we should go this way, though. There's a chest, a cultist, a steel. Like, everything this way looks good. Alright, well, because I'm expecting hell, I am going to go ahead and pop the jar of blood. So after we heal, or after we win, everyone will go back to full health. Because I'm expecting this to really hurt. We haven't fought a Geomancer yet uh, in this playthrough. But they're um, pretty brutal. They're pretty brutal. Actually. I don't know why you wouldn't believe me. But they are. In fact, we have a lot of problematic characters here. And this is one of them. This character is known for absolutely shredding teams. So I'm hoping we can kind of, you know, kill him rather fast. But I'm going to have to pop all my buffs and get ready for the murder. There isn't anyone else who I feel like I need to remove. Bop, bop, bop. You can see why. And that this reduces their armor as well. What is this buff? Is this your frenzy? Are we going to respect frenzy or not? That's when you decide right meow. Respect the frenzy? Rage release. I don't really feel like it. I really don't. Mm. I believe in you, sweetie. You can do it. You can do it. I guess it is a pretty good counter to have them in the, the back area, because when they throw their axes, they only hit once. They don't hit, you know, many, many, many times. Comes in loud. <laughs> I get it. I guess we can respect the frenzy now if we want to. What am I talking about? When have I ever respected the enemy. I can't think of many circumstances where I have. And it's worked out for me so far. <laughs> Taste my fire. Of my passion, hey. Oh. It's okay. It's fine. What are you talking about? 40 plus 25 is 65. All right, it's time for this. Get slapped. And you come over here. We have words to say. Brave are an excellent source of I would like to file a complaint about the musketeer. And that is that he's rude. He goes after my weakest character, pretending like I don't know what he's doing. And then he dodges my attack. I don't know what I'm going on about anymore. I'm just having fun. Complaining. Complaining is always fun. Well, we have two options. One, shoot them. Two, try and evade them. He has so much accuracy. I actually can't evade him. Alright. Killing him it is. Please don't die. Oh. Uh... Not dead. Technically not dead. Alright, how do I make this better? 
Okay, you're dead, so that's fine. How do I control you? How do I make you not do stupid things? I don't actually know if I can. So I'm going to spit on you. No, I'm going to kick him. I'm glad I kick him. And now, for the finale. Smack. We did it. We've won the video game. No, just kidding. 23.30. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put my deer in an ice cube. Because I think they're both just dead to true damage. One less annoyance in the world. I'm like 90% certain. 27? Yep. Both did the true damage. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Your suffering ends, your service begins. Oh yeah, we I used the item, didn't I? Each round of combat, I'm so good at remembering that. Each round of combat, Eratus gains 30 wrath. Okay. I'm too off of building something. Too off of building something. Contain your rage. It's okay. The formulae reveal their secrets. All right, so I think we're, I think we're done in alchemy for some time. Like, obviously, if we are going to commit to the glutton's tongue, we are going to come back for a scalpel artist eventually. I would like necromancy power because I enjoy it. Uh, dark enlightenment's also really good, but I think we need to start committing ourselves to other things, such as black incense. Everything here in the magic tree is something I desire. But Finger of Death is so expensive. So I want to go towards Dispel. I want Fate. And then we might go back to Ire for a little bit. Because I want to try out Infectious Lunacy. I feel like we can really make Infectious Lunacy powerful. And not just powerful. I mean like... Broken. Powerful. Do we go with the luck? More luck? More evasion, more luck. Evasion, luck. Evasion might equate survivability. Okay. Demai. Mmm, oh, demai. So you can do this. We can get eight more attack. Not too bad. Remember, that's scaling with the mechanical aim, so... It's a lot more than what it sounds like. You know, Black Widow, I've complained about my choice with you, but you're surviving, so I mean... Should I be? Should I be complaining? I think I'm going to hold for more Vigor, though. I kind of want to just rush max Vigor. I also want more parts. I want so many things. Show me the dice. Unlocks a secret magic spell. Puts all enemies to sleep for one turn, except bosses. Targets skip their turn until they are attacked or receive damage. 75 mana. That's as much mana as Finger of Death. Which is way better than this. Whenever an enemy moves, there is receives 8 physical damage and 8 stress damage. Meh. And one additional part will drop after Eratus wins the battle. Ugh. We did not roll these. Well... A dark collecting. What is this fork going over? It embellishes my undead features. No. So I lose 3 attack for this, but if we're going for the Gelatin's Tongue, this is going to help us out a lot. Gotta think about your long-term gains. Not just your immediate. We should probably also consider unlocking the second mortuary slot. What is their brain situation looking like? Because I haven't gotten that point in alchemy yet. It's not good. So I do usually get this, the gray matter. This increases the chance of receiving brain at the end of battle by 50%. And um, it's pretty good. Especially if we're trying to build a lot of things, which we kind of are. Berserker, Warrior, Elite Trader, Oracle. So this is probably going to be our last battle for today. And then we will uh, call it a day. I've had a lot of fun. It's been a long time since I recorded two Erratus videos back to back. But, um, hey, we've been doing swell so far. The Oracle is out of reach. Hmm. Hello. I missed. He has a lot of evasion. Oh, I remember the traitors. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> I'm not a fan of what's about to happen. At all, really. I need to amok something this turn, I think. So, let's amok. 
He unfroze because he's going to do his thingy. Rage release. We're, we're definitely going to trench load here. Definitely. Absolutely. Without question. Oh, I can't do the thingy. I could wait. Maybe do the thingy. This ward is very irritating. Hmm. There's nothing I really need to do. So let's mess with the Berserker a little bit, shall we? That makes me happy. Well, that was a good target for that. Okay. The block ate something useful. Alright. Please, Black Widow. Thank you. I appreciate you, because now I need to kill that. I really don't want to muck, unfortunately. I mean, I do, but I don't. You know? The traitor is a huge problem. I don't like him at all. He does many terrible things for me. Speaking of a huge problem... Hmm. Maybe I should have hit the Berserker instead. Don't you dare. Ooh. We had some great luck here with our wards today. Clicking my tongue in irritation. Wow. You are just pretty thick, aren't you? Option. Cocoon. Spit. Reduce evasion. If I could even hit him. Cocoon. Spit. Reduce evasion. Cocoon. That is a lot of true damage. Do I just kill him? I mean, he's going to die next. What happens here? Whenever an ally takes target damage, remove all debuffs from them, restoring 20 standard... All right, well. I never liked you anyway. How's that? Does this stack? It doesn't say it doesn't, but I'm going to kill you. Okay, I'm not. Maybe I should have tried it. I redirected that. Wow. <laughs> My bride. Why are you all so mean to my bride? Wow. I'm just not going to hit him ever again. At least he's regenerate. she's regenerating the Dwarven Warrior. This actually might not be enough to kill him. So it's 4 plus 28. Oh, it's not. It's enough. It's enough. This is also enough. Okay. Um, they're all dead, really. I can reduce your luck. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It will take more than death to <laughs> stop my legions. <sighs> this one voided its bowels just as it died. That was my bad. Kind of. Kind of my bad. I forgot the traders, the way the trader's stance worked. I mean, I, f I remembered, obviously, but I forgot as well. <laughs> is what I meant. We had just geared her up so well. See, that was the problem that I was having earlier. Like, thought-wise. Like, she was just so vulnerable. How do I protect her at all? We're just being chunked. That's why I think the uh, the three bone golems is an interesting idea. I don't know if we want to run three bone golems, but our current team is obviously incredibly squishy. I will soon embrace your new existence. Part of that's because aren't you just dead? Part of that is because yeah, they are. We've been, we just been putting points into attack nonstop, right? But mop up the gore. I hate the to see plants using it as fertilizer. The mandibles are interesting because they're like a weaker version of her spider venom, and they're instant. They're not a debuff. They just happen. So 
If we wanted a more durable front line, I mean, we didn't really have any good parts either. Hmm. Do I unlock the second mortuary or the second? I have to rebuild something anyway. Probably have to bring back the bride. Second arena. I feel like second mortuary is more important than second arena. I also feel like it would be wasted. Uh, where is my? I could also hold them. Her heart beats only for me. I crafted it that way. You sure did. I was there. Oh, my dear bride. What am I ever going to do? How am I ever going to make this right? I don't know, honestly. I have a few ideas. But I don't know. Where are my brains to there? Oh, this is depressing. A level f she's going down from level 10 to level 5. She lost half her levels. Wow. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. I'd even put a point into vigor. Hmm. What do I want from this cultist? Actually. I actually don't know. We could pick up... I want to see the vampire thing, actually. Let's take a look at the vampire thing. I'm pretty sure it just has to do with her um, her feature, which we aren't really going to get any use out of anyway. So we have the vampire, the bone golem. Oh, you know what? We could pick up the bride's thing again. Do I think a level 5 bride's going to survive, though? The mummy's wraps. That won't help us if we use him in a weird way. The Fallen Dampier thing, we could do that. I kind of like her. She's a weird character. But I don't dislike it. In fact, I probably like it too much, if I were to be honest. Again, our lack of brains is kind of a huge issue. I don't have a mechanical eye, so I don't want to use the Headhunter. Even with... This is with our advanced ballistics. He has 93% accuracy. And it is so expensive to get this anywhere near respectable number. So I feel like you don't use the headhunter at all without the um, the eye. I'm really curious about this, like, mummy fallen down here thing, but that's the last of our brains. Oof. Oof. And there's someone else that has yet to be reborn. 4%. Is that total or current? Hmm. We could also try... We haven't used the ghoul at all. But the ghoul is peculiar, to say the least. She moves around a little bit too much for my liking, methinks. Methinks. We'll pick up the Welcome phones out here. To the winning side. Let's go see. I mean, worst case scenario, we just pick up the bride thing again, right? So, the battle of betrayal. The fallen down here receives a buff that reduces the damage they receive by 5% each time they take damage, stacks up to 8 times. So, this is really good. If you're running the YOLO Solo Fallen Down Pier build, I do recommend this. This with the Boiling Blood makes it so that she just becomes stronger over time. And eventually they do no damage at all. Whenever an enemy escapes or becomes insane, the vampire receives plus 6 accuracy, plus 6 evasion, and plus 6 lux till the end of battle. That is not bad. 4, 24 accuracy, evasion, and luck. Again, it's weird using the vampire to hurt most efficient. And we've seen the stack of bones before. For each 10 points of vigor missing, the damage the bone gone receives is decreased. Kind of want to pick that up. I'm really curious about this bone golem, but I'm really afraid to use it too. Let's pick up the stack of bones. 
I don't know. I can't decide. <sighs> All right, for the bride. I think we're going to try the Bone Golem, though. I'm very curious about his ability to survive. So, if we... The Bone Golem is sitting at a whopping 183 vigor. The way we would use the Bone Golem is primarily as a support character. He can apply a block in ward to any ally, and then he can heal himself for a substantial amount. It's 10% by default, but Abyssal Engine is probably the upgrade you want. And he's a pretty tanky lad. Again, I would just dump points into Vigor, really. Use him in a similar capacity to the Black Widow, but he does nowhere near the utility she has. Melting armor, gripping things. It'd have to be a very delicate balance. Hmm. But anyway, next time, we have Dwarven Berserker, an elite Dwarven Warrior, an elite Dwarven Oracle, an elite Dwarven Geomancer. That is not a fight I'm looking forward to, because I feel like the Bride is just going to get one shot by the Geomancer again. Not even the Bone Golem could save her. How depressing. <laughs> but we'll find out next time. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Back into the arena you go. You too. You can kind of hang out here. Sure. Why not? I have a few ideas for builds, but again, we're running super low on brains. And that's kind of upsetting. But hopefully, we can rectify that answer soon. <laughs>